Now the campaigns are over and the transition into power is just beginning. Following up on our campaign 2010 coverage now, Republican Scott Walker defeating Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett for governor, garnering 52% of the vote there. And now Governor-elect Walker is setting the stage to deliver on a campaign promise, derailing a high-speed rail line linking Madison to Milwaukee. The night team's Maria Guerrero was at Walker's first news conference today as governor-elect. She's got more on his plans. Maria? That's right, Eric. Speaking to reporters on the steps of the Capitol today, Scott Walker said he is now sorting through suggestions from lawyers on possible legal action against high-speed rail. I believe we can. Just hours into the beginning of his transition to office, Governor-elect Scott Walker says his campaign pledge to stop the train can become a reality. The good news is we have a variety of options, uh, and it's something that's certainly having a new Republican majority in the Assembly and Senate, uh, I think a majority not only party-wise, but a majority of people in the legislature that agree with me on the train. But Madison Mayor Dave Cheslevich continues to support using $810 million of federal stimulus funding to build the rail line from Milwaukee to Madison and the rail station in the capital city even though costs to operate the line aren't included. It will create jobs building high-speed rail, and it will literally put us on the map as a forward-looking, technologically savvy, advanced uh, state. Sorting through his options, Walker says this is a challenge he's taken on before as Milwaukee County Executive. I was told I was legally bound to put up a three-story blue shirt on the side of the parking garage at the, uh, the county's airport. And if you go there today, there is no blue shirt on the side of that uh, parking structure uh, because we found a way to get out of that. And uh, I'm confident we can do the same with the train. Hoping for a different outcome, Jess Levich says he wants to meet with Walker soon and make the city's case known. Yeah, I think uh, from what I know, Scott Walker is a fair guy and he'll listen to all the arguments. Supporters of this project say it will cost the state money as it has to give back what it has already spent and on deals already made. But Walker says a way can be found to get out of the project and instead redirect the Wisconsin companies that are that are counting on this contract to instead work on other transportation projects. Eric and Maria, congressional leaders, uh, federal level uh, yep. leaders. They also have to figure to have some input here as well, right? Oh, absolutely, because, again, we're talking about federal spending here. Just today, the Republican lawmaker in line to head the House Transportation Committee, he says he wants to re-examine the $10 billion in federal grants for high-speed train services in Florida, California, and right here in Wisconsin. Florida Rev. John Micah says high-speed trains are a good idea, but he does not agree with the projects chosen for this funding. All right, News 3's Maria Guerrero reporting. Maria, thank you.